This video will be about DIY teleprompter which can be done by anyone with very small budget. Yes, buying an actual teleprompter is the sane and pro thing to do. It'll be quicker and probably much better quality. But for those who are on the budget, this would be sufficient. I think it goes without saying that you should be expecting to make some sacrifices. Either you spend some real money for real gear, or you'll have to deal with consequences of being somewhat cheap. I'm actually reading all of this from a teleprompter I made earlier. It took about 10 minutes of research and about 30 minutes of shopping, and with about two and a bit hours to build while filming this video, so you can do it much quicker. To start off, let's get the relevant tools. Drill, pliers, measuring tape, and some packing tape for good measure. Wait, that's for another project. What we need here is actually basic. Black binder, picture frame. Make sure it's glass or you'll have bad time with picture quality in the future. You'll need a knife, ideally a craft knife, tape measure or ruler, black electrical tape, surface to cut on and also some binder clips. You'll need to sacrifice a coat hanger, more on that later. Let's clear the desk and start with getting the glass out of the frame. Set this aside for now, then we'll proceed with gutting the binder, that's better. Now using glass, measure location and cut one centimeter smaller than the glass on each side. Intention is to put the glass inside the vinyl and secure it there. This is where the craft knife would have been very useful. Let's skip through, as this is painful. Now we have a hole for the glass. Let's pit the vinyl and slide the glass inside. Using tape, secure it in place. This also serves as protection from glass, so in the future you don't cut yourself. Bloody iPads aren't that appealing. Now that we have cleaned up, mount the binder clips on each of the corners, go find the coat hanger and sacrifice it to make a little stand for the lid. Voila! The holder is now complete. Next we throw in an iPad and... All oh right, we need an app. For this to work, we require a mirrored view. Most apps that I've found are actually not free. The one that does work is called Parrot, and it works just fine. It also has auto scrolling, speed adjustments, and actually has a nice nifty feature, which is integration with Dropbox. For this one, I've actually typed up my script on the PC and just synced it to my iPad. Here's the finished product. It certainly does not have the sex appeal, but it gets the job done. Main issues thus far have been the lack of mounting features. Currently the whole contraption is on top of some boxes in front of me on a desk. And just behind it, I have my camera. Over the whole contraption, we currently have my old black t-shirt to cover it. Otherwise you'll see reflections. Also, there's a lot of faffing around. Every time you move, you need to reset it up. Even if you touched it just to adjust the camera angles, you may need to spend another 10-15 minutes resetting it. But for a few bucks, I'm pretty happy with the results and it'd be rude to complain. I hope you liked this video. To see more content like this, like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.